your team found a variety of ways to win football games this year. What did you stress with this team this week to get one last win in the Big 12? Well, there's, there's so much that's coming into the game with senior night, playing, tr trying to play to get in the Big 12 championship. We just talked about poise and composure. All right, something we've done really well on the road. We want to make sure we bring it back home. You've played outstanding defense versus a run all year long. In comes a third leading rusher in college football. How do you minimize the impact of Taj Brooks? Well, we need to control the line of scrimmage, and hopefully we can do that with our front because uh, we're going to need to deploy some safety help for these big wideouts outside. All right, thanks. Good luck. Thank you. The student section that they felt that Texas was number one in pregame, if you get my drift, and that got the uh, Longhorn fans fired up. Here's Dre McCray on the return. Gets past the 20 and dragged down, and that includes Patrick Mahomes. Borden going to throw a receiver screen on first down to the running back, Taj Brooks. An injury here on the opening play of the game. Looks like Ryan Watts. So Ryan Watts up, which is a great sign because he was flat on his back for about three minutes. But walking under his own power, very encouraging after we saw him go down about five minutes ago. Here he is, he's gonna fight through a block, and then he'll make some contact with the back of Anthony Hill Jr. It's tough to tell exactly what happened, but to your point, Dave, great to see him able to walk off the field under his own power. He was down for a while, a scary situation here to kick off this game. But well, now, on second down and nine. Morton on the move. Is incomplete to stab James, longtime high school coach in Lubbock and also at Eastland, as that back shoulder throw is off the line. Oops. To his intended target, Coy Aiken. Austin McNamara, one of the top punters in the country, almost got that blocked. Xavier Worthy's got a punt return for a touchdown already this season. And scoots out of play here at the 43. Quinn Ewers is back, his third game back from that shoulder injury that cost him two games. Malik Murphy won games against BYU and Kansas State after Ewers hurt his shoulder against Houston last month. He's going to throw on first down. It's caught by your start for Ewers. 14 and 5 record. Transfer from Ohio State. Going to hand it off to Baxter here. And Baxter able to get back to the line of scrimmage. Move their fronts. They change their coverage. Going to try to disguise a lot here for Quinn Ewers. Second down and 10. Tech rushes three. Ewers again over the middle. Wide open is worthy for the second time. And he is able to squeeze his way through. Rush three, drop eight. Zone coverage. And Xavier Worthy, Worthy finds the open spot in the zone, turns around, ball is on him immediately. Xavier Worthy so dynamic with the ball in his hands or when the ball is in the air. Got great speed and tough to tackle in the open space. He was hurt last week. They weren't sure early in the week whether he would play. And they weren't sure about Jatavion Sanders either. He and he takes it down near the 15-yard line. Jatavion Sanders, such a tough cover. Tight end, go make a play. So first down on the Tech 16. Baxter's second rush between the tackles downhill to about the 11. Last week, Baxter had a career day, 117 yards. Gets the carry here and down to the five. Get that he has, you saw it right there. Great feet to and through the hole. Number one running back recruit in the country. Forced to do that. False start. False start. Offense number 70, five yard penalty. First down. Zicality getting good movement up front. First and goal from just outside the 10 after the five yard penalty. Play action pass. Out in space. Robinson inside the five and into the end zone. A Texas touchdown. First. Well, it starts with the motion from Jordan Whittington, a staple of what Sark wants to do. And watch Keelan Robinson just going to sneak his way outside. They're going to motion over, then work his way back 
across. Jordan Whittington, Adonai Mitchell, going to be lead blockers on the perimeter. And Keelan Robinson is an absolute jet. So much speed and explosiveness on the perimeter. And this is vintage Steve Sarkeesian. Utilizing motion, create the matchup that he wants, get the ball to his playmakers out in space, and caps off a picturesque perfect drive to kick off this big night here in Austin. And after a seven play, 50. The Jatavion Sanders, you get a little dose of C.J. Baxter and then a touchdown to Keelan Robinson. McCray on the return. Tripped up at the 10, grabbed at the 15, and down he goes. To find their way in the college football playoff. They changed that Robinson touchdown to a rushing touchdown. That was a backward pass. No room there. Murphy on the interior of this defensive line is so good. Watch him just penetrate. Disrupt everything in the middle. Doesn't make the tackle, but he makes the play. Allow Jade Barron, Barron Sorrell to get on the tackle. You better have a plan for number 90 and number 93 when you play this Texas defense. Out of the backfield, Brooks. Stood up by Jalen Ford, and then gang tackle at the 18-yard line. A little extra curricular activity, and there's a flag. After the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct, defense number zero. That's his first unsportsmanlike foul of the game. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. The ground's face kind of got a knee in there. Just, again, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Got to keep it in check. There's Brooks, got some room off the edge. Lowers the shoulder around the defender. And a gain of about eight. It's a bowling ball with really good vision and contact balance. Morton now running. And he dies for the first down of the 45. We're just asking for a penalty. Can change momentum quickly. And now Tech on the move, but Morton is hit. However, he's not sacked. He gets out of there. And his pass is caught near midfield. Five. Ethan Burke should have had a sack. Well, I'll tell you what, just the fact that Baron Morton finds his quick six foot nine tight end. What a play. Morton in trouble again. He's got a receiver downfield. And it's picked off. What a great play by Muhammad. Morton had a receiver, but the ball hung in the air. The field was an interception by the Jordan defense. Bradley was open, but Muhammad with the interception. Hits. Morton as he throws it. That pass under for a big. Alfred Collins inside. He's got excellent length and he uses his hands so well to shed the defender. This inside pressure prevents Baron Morton from stepping into this throw, falling away off his back foot. He had Jaron Bradley open down the field, but it's Malik Muhammad, the true freshman. Pressure forced the poor throw. It's a big takeaway for the Longhorns. Viewer setting up off play action. Receiver open in the middle of the field. On um, his accuracy, he was under 60% completion rate last year. This year, he leads the Big 12. And he's perfect so far in this game. It's Jordan Whittington. Caught his first touchdown of the year and a win over Iowa State last week. Gets the catch here. Viewers on target again. Another Texas first down. Arkeesian dialing up. Seems to be hit. Six of six for Ewers. Going to work again. That time overthrows Jatavion Sanders. Has completely changed this year. Taking complete ownership of his team. Teammates say a true leader. And, and has it paid dividends with his play? Baxter up the gut. To the ball's been coming out quick. Can Tim DeRuder dial something up and put some pressure on Quinn Ewers? Ewers gets rid of it quickly, and the catch is made. And it looks like it's going to be right at the line to gain. Brandon Lux came up with the ball, and they're going to say an interception. Worthy had the ball, and actually looked like he had made the catch, but then Lux ripped it away. And they're saying Texas Tech ball. First Early interception the an for interception. Lux. First down. Some pressure Texas here. Brandon Jordan, the safety, is going to come off the edge. Let's see what this looks like.
And to me, that's a catch. Yeah, that by Wor by Worthy, and then the play's over when he goes to the ground, right? That's what it looks like. Does he have complete possession? We've got Matt Austin. Matt, what do you see here? Well, I don't think the receiver ever had firm control. When he went to the ground, the ball looks like it was still loose between them. Uh, I'm not really sure if the ball touched the ground between them, but I don't. I definitely don't think this is a catch. If the ball didn't hit the ground, this is an interception. And that's what's interesting. As you were talking, we had a look, and it looked like that ball might have actually touched the ground. This could get looked at and potentially be ruled an incompletion, but... At about the 35-yard line of Texas Tech for Texas. Great shots from our camera crew. That ball's on the ground, Dave. Because they have overturned it, because they're trying to figure out, right. hey, let's get After back further to review, placing the, the ball down the ground, into the distance. Therefore, it's an incomplete pass. It's going to be fourth down on the 32-yard line. So on the 32. And a penalty marker down. False start. Offense number 54, five-yard penalty, fourth down. And for Auburn, this will be a 55-yarder. If he makes it, it'll be the longest of his career. Brian Sanborn, transfer from Stanford. Xavier White is deep for Texas Tech. Gets out of the way. It was hit by a Texas player around the eight-yard line. Longhorns out of field goal range. They punt the ball. They're hoping for a little better result there, punting it from the Tech 38. And the Red Raiders trying to run it. And again, the power of Taj Brooks didn't get 100, he hit 98. They run him again. And again, he's able to make guys miss in the hole. Brooks will have to sit out of play. Well, it's a physical run here by Taj Brooks to pull the backside guard around. Brooks runs through an arm tackle from Alfred Collins. At the end there, you see Finkley kind of pry that helmet off. This running style of Taj Brooks on display here early. This is a homecoming for him. He grew up 15 minutes from the stadium. Did not play in the game two years ago. He was injured. Morton downfield, and it's dropped at the 40-yard line for Texas. Well, you can't throw it much better than this for Baron Morton. Rolling to his right on the move, and he's got the speed for Dre McCray open. That's just a drop. you got to pay that off find a way to bring that pass in. Second and ten, five minutes to go. First quarter, 7-0 Texas. Valdez getting the carry. Brooks. Morton in trouble. Set. Jeff Bush. On senior night, the veteran. Want you to watch the move. He's going to start here, and he's going to reverse out the nice little spin move. The inside-out move. Set him up inside. Get that ice pick and the tackles back. And a big third down sack from Jet Bush. Texas Tech's got a different long snapper out there because Jackson Knotts got hurt. And the punt by McNamara takes a huge Texas bounce. It checked up. Back into Red Raider territory. It's only a 28-yard punt for Texas. Still a chance to get in the college football playoff. No team has ever made it with two losses. Ewers in trouble. Flips it downfield. It's a gain of 22. Well, they're going to dial up the pressure. Ben Roberts coming in. And then you see Josiah Pierre trying to... Sanders can run, get it. Great throw by Quinn Ewers under pressure. And this might be a double pass. It is worthy. And it should have been picked off. It was dropped on the goal line. It's on the season. Had a crack at it. Well, they do this quite a bit. Xavier Worthy throwing a lot of double passes in his career. And this is one that Malik Dunlap... He's going to lose some sleep over. This one hits the big six first quarter. But he drops it. Second drop. Once offensively, now defensively for the Red Raiders. Jaden Blue up the middle. Eight of third down and six. From the pocket. Over the middle. Some contact between Dunlap and Whittington. Back-to-back -back holds by the Texas Tech defense inside the 35-yard line. What's good coverage down the field and Dunlap working one-on-one -on, -one on Jordan Whittington. A nice job by a data ray to step right in that score in the country. Bird Auburn. 34-yard try. And Auburn has made 15 consecutive field goals matching a Texas record. 10-0 Longhorns. 
also his 24th made field goal this season, tying Hunter Lawrence's record. And we mentioned the 15 straight in the Big 12 title game in Arlington. Opponent to be determined tomorrow. Could be a rematch with Oklahoma, depending on what happens. The Sooners won today. And here's Trey McCray out the gate. Kicker to beat. And McCray run out of bounds by Oklahoma to get into the Big 12 title game. Got a 10 0 lead. And Taj Brooks back on the field. Man, it is so hard to bring him down. Brooks inside the 30. They finally get to him at the 20. Wow, what a run. 15 yards. There's nowhere to go. I mean, it stopped in the middle. No Continues to fight through contact. The contact balance off the charts. Five on the day, and most of it is after contact. It's remarkable. Morton to the air, and that pass off the mark. And he had Xavier White open. Played here, so he didn't suit up. He said he's got about 50 or 60 people here tonight in the stands watching him. In trouble, Morton on second down. Spins away. Now throws complete inside the 20. Aiken on the catch, but I don't think Baron Morton was expecting this snap. He was stepping forward, looked like to make a check. Jalen Ford gets there immediately. Really nice job by Morton just to buy himself a little bit of time spinning out. Both High snap. Morton pulls it down, being chased by Burke. Throwing into the end zone, incomplete. Some hand fighting and a flag. A lot of contact down the field and Pass interference, defense number 21. A foul occurred in the end zone. I rule the ball will be placed on the two yard line. Automatic first down. Offer never got turned around. Back to the quarterback and just too much contact down the field. That ball's in the air. His back's to the football and he continued to contact. Matt, do you agree with that flag? I do agree with it. He quit playing the ball. He had his left hand on the hip of the receiver pulling him back. So I think that was a good call. From the two. Well, they just hammer it here with Brooks against that great front. No, Morton keeping it into the end zone for the touchdown. Baylor Cup's going to work back across. Actually, going to be the lead blocker on this. Just inside read zone. And Baron Morton, he sees as Sorrell collapses down, goes inside. He knows he can get to the perimeter. He's got that safety valve. And Baylor Cup out in front to solidify that block. And it's a walk-in touchdown. Took a two-score lead. And the extra point is good. Victory at Kansas. Short kickoff on the run. It's Keelan Robinson. Trying to find a lane, and he's out to the 26. All right, fellas, here it's 10-7 Texas. Longhorns taking over on their 26-yard line after the Red Raiders hit Pater for the first time. And Ewers throwing it out in space to Jaden Blue. Red zone stops, you get a nice return, big run, and nice touchdown. How do you sustain some consistency offensively on early downs here in the second quarter? We gotta we gotta run the ball. You know, I mean, everybody it's been hard to run against these guys, but we've had some success. 28 is really special. So we gotta stay ahead of the sticks on first down and run the football. All right, thanks, Coach. Thank you. Brooks, big difference maker in that first quarter for Texas Tech. Texas able to run the ball.
And here's McCray, who just had a big return. He's got a 100-yard kickoff return for a touchdown, but it's Xavier White, who is the return man on this play. Uh, the second highest ranked one-loss team, according to the playoff selection committee. Oregon, one place in front of them. Morton out of space. Huge hit at the 22-yard line. Well, there's a lot to like about Derek Williams. You're going to see him come up and just make an excellent play downhill. Open field tackle. First catch of the year, and boy, did he pay for it. Morton with time to throw here, and it's a strike to Aiken. And Coy Aiken. I wonder if it's Todd Brooks' zone, third and short. And trouble. Dumping it off. And close to the first down is Dre McCray. Looks like he's got it. Dix after the catch. So on the fresh set of downs, another pass play. Climbing the pocket. And Morton taking off across the 40 out to the 46 yard line it's a first down and a gain of 14 well the pass rush lanes break down and it's good identification by Baron Moore spun across the center opened up a big hole for Moore to take advantage of delayed blitz underneath pass to McCray and Morton is definitely talented we've seen some of that on display here in the first half and a flag down here Texas Tech will be on the river snap Offense, number 56, five-yard penalty, second down. Got hurt initially against West Virginia, hurt again against Kansas State. Jake Strong started the game. Tyler Shuck started the beginning of the year. Morton's pass batted, and was it Tavondre Sweat who got a hand on an incomplete pass. Just one of two defensive players as a finalist for the Walter Camp Player of the Year award. When they bring up pressure, Binda gets home, and it's big Tavondre Sweat. He there on the for the Walter King. Morton walloped back at the 30 by Anthony Hill. Loss of 11. He was very emotional early. We're going to see him just work around. Such a good sub-package rusher. No one able to pick him up. Well schemed by Pete Kwiatkowski. And you see the closing speed to the quarterback from Anthony Hill Jr. Tech has a different long snapper, Jason Mock. It's been a little interesting watching him snap on punts and also on a kick. This time it's blocked! It'll be Texas ball at the 20-yard line. Back there as well. We'll see who gets credited with the block punt. Michael Tapp just going to come right off the edge. Times this up perfectly. That snap was a little wobbly. Times it up, gets the hand out, and a huge play for the Longhorn special teams. It was LaFowl that recovered it, Tapp that blocked it. They just recovered a block punt, looking to add to their lead. Viewers, pump fake, fires, open receiver, caught, worthy. And they're going to say it's out of bounds, incomplete. Green, and then releases, nobody identifies him as worthy, wide open. The corner of the end zone, but hit the pylon. Yeah, hit the pylon, yeah. It's like he lost track of where he was on the field. And hit the pylon, then Good it's story. a touchdown. Yep. So second and ten. C.J. Baxter off left tackle, penalty marker down, pre-snap. False start. Offense number 78, five-yard penalty. Still second down. They have almost as many penalty yards in the first half, 44, as they average for an entire game. They average around 48 penalty yards. Now that's the only reason that Texas Tech is still hanging around is because of penalties that have kept drives going for Texas Tech. Michael's last year has had some struggles with that this season. Play action pass. You were setting up pressure on him. He sensed it, then he goes down at the 27 yard. Jatavion Sanders shaken up. We mentioned earlier in the game that he was hurt last week. He's been battling injury. So not on the field right now for third down and 17. Quinn Ewer is just two for his last six and 0 for two passing on third down. A short throw here to Baxter. And Baxter gets to the 20 before he's knocked down by Taylor Demerson. He's missed some time with an injured throwing shoulder. High snap. And the kick is good again. Set the school record all by himself, making 16 field goals in a row, extending the Texas lead. Obviously, the committee thinks Oregon's been more impressive. 
Trying to keep it away from Dre McCray, kicking it to White again. And White will not make it to the 30. Let's get an update on the seed. Sark talking to him right now as the defense is out there for Texas. Here's Brooks, able to bust it to the outside. And again, welcoming contact from Crawford, but Blackwell came in at the end with the big hit. Penalty flag down, though. Holding offense number 53. 10-yard penalty. Repeat first down. It's on Rusty Stats, the right guard. So that wipes out positive yardage for Brooks. Well, this is a drive killer going from what could have been a nice pickup on first down to now first and 20 on Alfred Collins and pulls him to the ground. So it's first down and 20. Brooks in the backfield. Slammed to the ground. There's Tavondre Sweat. As a pass batted down and now a tackle for a loss. Well, Sweat's going to make the tackle, but Finkley sets it up. Sets a good firm edge. Taking on that blocker. Condensing the space. It's Jalen Ford. It's Tavondre Sweat on a college football. Texas Tech going the wrong way. Penalty now a three-yard loss. Morton backing up launching it out of bounds with everybody covered downfield. They had a dropped interception as well, so Texas Tech not helping itself. Hard enough against this Texas defense. They just concede here and run Brooks. Worthy is out there. That's good news. Keep in mind, Texas just blocked a punt. They had a bad snap earlier. They almost got there again. Worthy with the fair catch around. Tonight, we've seen C.J. Baxter. We've seen Jaden Blue. A little bit of Keelan Robinson. And the Texas offense getting it done here against Texas Tech. And Jatavion Sanders is back in the game, so that's good news for the Longhorns. Ewers throwing here, Whittington on the catch, knocked out of bounds. A couple times in the red zone and had to settle for field goals. Baxter, big running lane, another Longhorn first down. Junior paving the way for C.J. Baxter. Baxter again off left tackle. Both sides of the ball built from the inside out. Yours getting rid of it here to Whittington inside the 25. Coming all the way over to this side of the field. And dumped at the 19. Another first down game. Play design from Steve Sarkeesian. Will throw back screen to Jordan Whittington. Set up perfectly to line it out in front. And in the vision, the open field from Whittington. Gonna come back and try to run Jaden Blue. Mindset of this Texas football team. Yours underthrown and intercepted in the end zone. Look, just one on one with Adonai Mitchell. And he's trying to throw the fade. He doesn't get any air underneath the football. And I love the ball skills for our Braylon Rocks. He's only 5'11, but he climbs the ladder, high points the football, and gets a huge Texas Tech interception. Anything with it against this stout Texas defense. Morton to throw. And the pass is caught for a first down. You mentioned the relationship with Morton. They grew up together. They hunt together, fish together, and play football together growing up. Brooks running right again so hard to bring down. It's taken three or four Longhorns. Just leading rusher good on good here in Austin tonight. They held Iowa State to nine rushing yards last week. Texas did. That pass underthrown. And Terrence Brooks got the interception for the Longhorns. Operation whatsoever. Just right in the hip pocket of the wide receiver and makes an outstanding play going to the ground, turning into the wide receiver. And arms underneath the football. I just wanted to make sure that the arms are underneath the football. That's just an excellent play in tight man-to-man -man coverage. Dave? After further review, the ruling on the field stands. First down touch. the games to Tech in 25 years. Tech got them last year in Lubbock. Baxter downhill inside the 25 down to the 24 yard line. Boy, when he gets north and south and puts that shoulder down, get out the way. Nice physical piece of running from C.J. Baxter. And it just shows you how deep that room is for the Longhorns. It's a sharp choice. Done a great job as a running backs coach. Baxter again down to the 30. And Helping with this rushing attack. Ewers throwing this time. Open in the middle of the field for another first down. Is made, but gets 20 yards there to the 10. Again, RPO linebackers up. 
And a strike to Adnai Mitchell. So good in the RPO game. Play action again. Ewers dumping it off to Gunnar Hill. Bounces off one defender. Then. As he delivered that football, Adrian Taylor Demerson just hit there. And the ball's on the ground. Ewers trying to dive on it. Remember, it'll be third and goal. Well, CJ Baxter was not even expecting the football whatsoever. Ewers tries to put it in there at the mesh point, and Baxter wasn't even ready. Ewers to the air. Everybody covered. Throws it out of the back of the end zone as he took a shot. Open late, but Quinn Ewers unable to find him, and the pressure gets home at the end of this pass play. Now 16 in a row. 26-yarder. Haven't been able to find it. It's one of those great mysteries. We'll get the Jones on it. <laughs> McCray and White are deep. This will go into the end zone for a touchback. Okay. We'll overcome Dave. Taj Brooks on first down, pushed back. Jalen Ford, as he so badly wanted to win that award. He was a semifinalist. And the first down, Brooks trying to go up into the air. Tech trying to go tempo here. Brooks again with room between the tackles. Productive running here. False start, right guard. In the foot. False start. Offense number 53. Five yard penalty. Second down. Been under pressure for a good part of this game. Going to keep it on the ground. Gets back to the 42. But I think most of it will sort itself out. Usually does. Third down and five. Morton's pass is caught short of the sticks, though. Aiken did not get the first down. It's fourth down. Big hit by Thompson. Morton rolling out. His pass short of the sticks again to Brooks. And tackled by Hill. The clock will stop. of Taj Brooks out of the backfield. Watch him right here. Just gonna mirror Taj Brooks as he comes out of the backfield, walks his way over the top, and the closing speed to the football, and it's catch tackle in front of the sticks. And a big third down sack earlier. Now big fourth down stop. The true freshman playing like a veteran here in this game tonight. Just where those sticks are. Yours going downtown here. Trying to hit Worthy to go in the half. Malik Dunlap's been a good cornerback here at Texas Tech the last couple of years. Good position. Texas Longhorns to do that all time. Going to run it here with Blue. He had a big run for a touchdown earlier in the game. What a night for Jaden Blue. And they're going to run Blue again here. Down to the 25. Well, so 10 seconds left. Ewer's going to throw. Pressure on. Ewers gets out of there somehow. Got to get rid of it. He does need help, but the schedules tomorrow favor. Auburn three for three today. 17 consecutive made field goals, making 18 in a row. This guy can't miss. 299 yards. And they got stopped several times in the red zone and had to settle for field goals. Otherwise, he might have 40 points right now. Keelan Robinson on the return. There he goes. Robinson inside the 40. They finally get a chance at him. He breaks a tackle. And Robinson looking back at the defender. Touchdown, Texas. 95-yard return. to win that game. Rocking was there, hat on a hat. Caleb Robinson makes one defender miss. And then it's the speed in the open field. You're not gonna get him. Wow. We talked earlier in the first half, Texas' inability to put their foot on the throat of their opponent when they got him down. They're going to make a statement here tonight in the Big 12 regular season finale. Demolishing a Texas Tech team that was playing really well. Won three games in a row. Action.
actually played a tight game with Oregon. We mentioned at the outset of the telecast, Texas fans been waiting for this, wondering how the Longhorns would handle the success. Well, they've handled it pretty darn well. And still getting it done on special teams. Texas Tech can't even get back to the 20. Now, Texas Tech with possession, but trailing by 26, trying to run Taj Brooks. You haven't been able to make a stop all night, and you haven't been able to do much on offense all night. Morton throwing again to Aiken. That's the guy that he's thrown it to almost throughout the entire game. Good defense in college football. Watch number zero. That's Anthony Hill. Here's a deep ball and thrown out of bounds. Again, good defense by Holmes on Aiken. Entry on the first play to the starter. Let's see what happens here on the punt. They've already blocked the punt once. That one is a little bit better. Got back there quicker to the punter, McNamara. And by far his best punt of the night. At least that one. I mean, I, I guess if you want to say without Jordan Travis, Florida State. But I, I personally think Florida State's going to be just fine without him. Here's Jatavion Sanders pushed out of bounds at lost team. Oregon playing right now leading by a couple of scores over Oregon State at number six. Florida State dropped to number five this week. Baxter... Knocked down to the 45. Do you agree with that, by the way? Florida State uh, being displaced by Washington. Yeah, by Washington as Baxter is injured now, man. Every star player for Texas has gotten hurt in this game, other than the quarterback. And plus, you have the shock of the Jordan Travis injury and the severity of that injury happening in the moment. Now, let's see with a week of Tate Rodemaker getting ready for the game and things will change. And he'll play better as yours is slammed to the ground. Just to find a way to get a stop. You see a nice game worked here. He's going to loop around and able to get home. Good to see that from Trayvon McAlpine. Just continue to work, continue to work. And get Quinn your team here in the second half. The only other time Sanborn punted the game is he gets hit that time. And here come flags. Was in the first quarter. Final Big 12 regular Running season against the Texas. Yep. Defense number six. That penalty's declined. First down, Texas Tech. Steve Sarkeesian does not like the call, but... Head-to-head -head over Oklahoma and Kansas State. Oklahoma State loses. Could be a rematch of what we saw in Dallas back in October. He got frustrated at times with his own play. Frustrated at times with how the coaches viewed him, but his mom kept positive as that pass downfield is on the back. Has pictures of he and his family members, including his mom, LaShonda. That's awesome. What a, uh, what a change. I, I'd love to see you with that thing on. It might drag you to the ground football this year. What a season he's put together. Thing does look like a 45 pound plate that you, uh, you find at the gym as that pass is incomplete. It's going to bring up only other defensive player on there. But if you watch film and you know anything about football, you know Devondre Sweat is the centerpiece of this Texas defense. Him can't wait to see what the future holds for him because he's in shape. He's playing hard all the time now. And obviously a big difference maker on this elite. With the way he's played this year, become a consistent player and real leader for this football team. Blue inside the 30, push back. Power than you might think. But oh boy, that home run ability is special. And mm. yeah, they call him that. They said he's become more of a complete back, but, but here's the home run threat, although flat comes down. Yeah. Holding, offense number 70. 10 yard penalty, repeat second down. Four, but it's pretty clear these guys want to stick this thing out here tonight. Off play action, Ewers in trouble, grabbed and brought down coverage sack here because you know, we're going to see this pressure get home late but Quinn Ewers is surveying the field trying to find somebody come open no one comes open and it's Charles Esther's the third a little bit of bull rush in the right side of his lower leg Ewers going to throw it to red and incomplete some of us are jealous <laughs> Since 2009, and 
the final Big 12 home game for going to the SEC next year. That defense for Texas been a force all year long, giving up just seven points tonight. 38 passing yards. Baron Morton, who had played really well the last few weeks. First of the year was potentially that Texas secondary. The coverage has been tight. Pressure all night on Morton. Going to run it here to Valdez and spun down by Jalen Ford. Tech, it's the best he's ever seen on film. Young coach getting a dose of reality here tonight. Catch is made by White. Tracked down by Hill. Success defensively. And for a lot of these guys, their last game playing at DKR. Senior night and a couple of juniors that are going to the NFL. Big hit by Ford. And then Taft almost picked it off. Taft had a chance at a pick. Jalen Ford is going to do an excellent job as a late add on to the rush. As Barry Morton rolls to his right football team with eight tackles this evening. Texas Tech Bowl eligible as they fake the punt here. And the pass is caught. They're able to complete it to McNamara. There is a penalty marker down. It was Coy Aiken waiting for the crew to sort things out. Ineligible receiver downfield. Offense number 69. Holding offense number two. Ten yard penalty. Repeat fourth down. And two guys commit penalties. Well, they dialed this up, too. And the punter up a little bit tighter, direct snap underneath, but as you properly pointed out. And the last road win against the top 10 team was at number one Oklahoma back in 2011. McNamara finally with a good punt. Kind of waiting for that. Here's Worthy on the return. Up to the 35, and then finally brought down at the 38. Man. So first down for Texas on its 38-yard line, leading 36 to 7. The viewer is just going to hand it off here to Jaden Blue. Robinson as a receiver, as a kick returner, but kind of been running back by committee tonight, Dave. Worthy out of space as a first down. Play action pass. You are setting up. Going to throw it short to Jaden Blue. Close to a first down. You know, they've tried a bunch of different coaches since Mac Brown left. Things, you know, at times there were a good season here or there. Is Stark the five wins and Stark told us those guys never wavered. That they believe in the message we were selling. The Savion Red gets a nice run off the right side. They believe in this Texas football team is very for real. Yours finds Worthy and Worthy reaches out for the end zone touchdown Xavier Worthy zone coverage once again finds that open grass right in front Adrian Taylor Demerson they're already looking in and doesn't look like they're gonna stop play the extra point makes it 43 to 7. And Xavier Worthy, you've touched on it several times, Dave. Just what he's worked through here tonight. He's going to find open space. See the defender zone coverage. And it's Xavier Worthy knowing exactly where to get to. That linebacker continues to drift and float out. Worthy works just inside of him. And an easy find for Quinn Ewers. How good is Xavier Worthy after the catch? One of the more dynamic receivers in all of college football. Get the ball in his hands and good things happen. Awfully difficult. But you've got Xavier Worthy there in the slot on the RPO game. I mean, you're picking your poison. You're going to get nailed either way. And cover your bases. Well, they can you run it right down your throat. Yep. And they have a season high 43 points. They had scored 30 or more in their first nine games for the first time in school history. Five to become bowl eligible. They had a lot of confidence coming into this game. That confidence, boy, it is nowhere to be found right now. Running room for Brooks for 80 rushing yards today. Uh, Morton's pass caught by Brooks. He just doesn't quite have it as a thrower the way he did a week ago. That should have been picked off. Field and underneath zone coverage. He feels this round by Aiken coming inside. In the eyes of the quarterback drifts invited to the senior ball be a really good NFL linebacker they get a 
First down, Texas Tech, though, with White. Morton in trouble. And it's Andre Sweat in the backfield. That hit the foot. That didn't hit the ground. It's picked off by Bush. That hit the foot of a Texas Tech player. So it's a pick six for Bush. Sweat inside pressure from the big man. As Baron Morton wanted no part of that action from Devondre Sweat, just trying to get rid of the football when he sees 360 plus pounds. And we touched on the close calls, we touched on the blown leads. None of that. Domination in every phase of the game. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I mean, I've seen balls hit a shoulder pad or a helmet to get picked off. You ever seen the foot? I don't know if I've ever seen the foot and the thing go right up in the air where you get a, even a chance to pick it off like that. And Bush with a great play to tip it to himself. And then, oh, by the way, to run 43 yards afterwards and score. Playing really well coming into this game the last few weeks. Here's Dre McCray on the return. It's about the 25, and they're right. Here's Taj Brooks. How many undefeateds will, will there be as a, a pass is caught by Baylor Cup? Good defense that time by four one loss teams. Potentially only one or two spots. Who goes? A little differing of opinion between yourself and me. Well, and then you got Florida State, too. Almost another interception. Emma winning the SEC, beating Georgia, would, would take them out of the equation they're in. Winning the SEC and beating Georgia, which has won 30 games in a row, whatever it is. Xavier Worthy on the move. And the discussion will have to wait. Worthy past the 40. Oh, face plants. A Red Raider as he gets out of bounds. And the stumble is because Arch Manning has just made his Texas debut. He hadn't played all year. The fans have been waiting for this, and he's finally in the game. He hands it off on his first snap to Savion Red. And they blow it dead at the 49. Arch Manning, true freshman from New Orleans, 18 years old, the highest rated Texas signee since Vince Young back in 2001. Dad Cooper, uncles Peyton and Eli. And when Quinn Ewers got hurt and Malik Murphy started a couple games, they, they were up big in one of those games, and Arch didn't get in. Everybody's been waiting for this. Hands off for Red. I mean, tireless worker, everything you're looking for for the potential future leader of this program. He's got it all. There's his first college pass, or no, going to take off. The crowd goes nuts as he slides. I mean, to your point, Dusty, we had a veteran Texas player tell us early in the season that Arch Manning came up to him and said, hey, can I just carry your stuff? I, I don't want special treatment. I want to be treated like a freshman. I want to do all those things to earn the respect. It's all right there is athleticism. That's what makes him different than his two uncles. Makes him a lot like his granddaddy. Big hole for Savion Red. And Red down to the 20-yard line. <laughs> Well, the greatest standing ovation we've ever seen for somebody handing off the football just occurred in the last series for Texas as Arch Manning entered into the game. And you take a look at my comparison there as you look at this graphic. Bo Nix, I make that comparison because of the athleticism that Arch Manning brings. He can make all the throws. What I like about him is he can throw change-ups. He can change his arm angle. He can layer the football. Very nuanced as a passer, but a really good athlete. Got a penalty flag down as number 16 ran Delay over the field. Game. Defense using disconcerting signals. Five-yard penalty. First down. Tid, you're short. <laughs> There's Red. It's going to be exciting to see exactly what Arch Manning becomes here at Texas. Just wonder if we'll really see him throw at this point. I mean, you're up 43. Ending young wide receiver as well. Ball on the ground, and it's still loose. Manning able to get on it at the 18-yard line. Got backup offensive linemen in there as well right now for Texas. Connor Robertson, the backup center. He just mishandled the snap. The snap is a little bit high, but I mean, nothing that he shouldn't have been able to handle, but calling to get on top of that football. 
second to go back in the 18. He just wanted to get a chance to throw it, Dave. There it is. Manning getting out of trouble, keeping it, staying in bounds, and now scooting out of play. A gain of about 12, third and goal. And you see the athleticism Tom was just documenting and talking about. Evades the rusher coming off the air. Manageable. Arch throwing. Incomplete. His dad, Cooper, was a talented wide receiver, signed at Ole Miss, but career ended due to injury. As that was a rope that it was thrown in traffic. The velocity behind that one. Manning. Fires. Incomplete. Going. That's money's worth a standing ovation after two incompletions. Good protection. Martin Hort. Third straight year. It's the first time since they went 11 years in a row from 2000 to 2010. Brooks wrapped up and thrown down by in the country. He's got these guys playing at a very high level. Morton has a completion, but short of the third and one. Morton to the air. Flushed out of the pocket again. Has his man downfield for a first down. Cougars before we get to that point. Morton hit again. Finds Taj Brooks, but for him to really take that step for a long time and he's got excellent length he's six five he's close to 320 pounds really good at glad to see him get an invite to the senior bowl Morton throwing in second and 12. got hit from behind as he released the pass by finkley fungi the result is he's our quarterback next season and moving forward running room for brooks that would be <laughs> The Big 12 title game against Texas, the only team to beat the Longhorns this year. That was. Morton downfield. Nice adjustment. The ball came out at the end, though. Fungi could not. Texas Tech just not able to capitalize on opportunities when they've been there this evening. Nobody has left this stadium. Why? Because they want to see more Arch Manning. It's a heated playoff discussions that we've been getting into, mainly off the air, Savion Red. So let, let's go back. What happened week two in Tuscaloosa? Three months ago. I'm not saying it well, doesn't I, matter, but penalty flags down. So why it, play those games in if they're not going to matter? You know, I'm just saying, you think Snap Texas infraction. is better. Offense oh, number right 62, five-yard penalty, second down. I think they deserve to be in the playoff. What it really it may not come down to but those if two. it comes down to that, no, I, I'd have to, I'd have to look at the head-to-head. -head. I mean, Texas' only loss is on a would be on a neutral field. Texas has continued to improve and get better and better and better, and they they also did it for two weeks with a backup quarterback. Right. Think about that. Auburn and Georgia. I think it depends on what happens with these other games. And which Does is Washington beat Oregon again? Does Oregon beat Washington? I both have one loss. What happens if Ohio State win out? They are in. As the SEC champ with a win over Georgia, they're in. They're no longer part of the bubble conversation. And they might. I don't know how you got that off your chest. <laughs> I feel better that I'm still alive based on <laughs> after all the threats to being tossed out of the booth. Man! Completing it to Cook. And John Tay Cook, a fellow true friend. Wow. Talented quarterback to talented wide receiver. That's true freshman to true freshman. I like how John Tay Cook just sits down, waits. On the move, Arch Manning identifies him in the speed in the open field. Very real for John Tay Cook. I, Tom, I know they are fired up and excited about what John Tay Cook brings to the table. There. For Texas. And C.J. Baxter, uh, who started this ball game, yep. running back as well. Weisner competing for the Big 12 championship for the first time since 18. Great chance to win it for the first time since 09. Flag comes down. Holding offense number 72. 10 yard penalty, second down. I think a lot of people are going to see how Mike Norvell has that team prepared and ready to play without their senior quarterback. Manning downfield, knocked away. Incomplete. Tail off here tonight. Had an interception. Had another really good pass breakup. He's in great position here. High point to football. It's well done by Braylon Lux. It is college debut. 
And just going to keep it on the ground here. Weisner able to break a tackle. Another one. And then finally cut down. All championship in 14 years and still being in position. Play for the national championship. They got a conversion with Manning. Going. Nice clean pocket for Arch Manning. Some cushion out there on the outside for Kane and a strike from Arch Manning for the conversion. <laughs> He's got a strong arm. Yeah. High school, you have Malik Murphy who started a couple games this year. Why is there a nice move down the sideline? Finally, ripped down inside the 20. It's to play yourself into a Big 12 championship, college football playoff implications. And boy. Did they show up? You know what happens here. Texas obviously taking it down as far as it can. Weiser on the cutback inside the five. Dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Texas. Well, the offensive line, and maybe the backups, but they're getting it done. Cameron Williams, 56 on the right side. Nice job helping secure that edge. <laughs> Flag comes down. Illegal substitution, offense, five-yard penalty, will reattempt the try. He's not treated any differently because of his last name, earning their respect, and you can see he has. As Auburn stays perfect on PATs. Comments did not fall on deaf ears from the Texas players. Devondre Sweat told us this week that he watched it over ten times this week to get a good memory of exactly what was said. As McCray returns it. Up. The fouls in play, one by each team. Personal foul, face mask, kicking team number two. Personal foul, face mask, defense number 16. Those fouls offset, first down. So next Saturday on ABC, Texas's first Big 12 title game appearance is 2018. They lost that year. The last time they won the conference was back in 09. It's either going to be Oklahoma State or Oklahoma. Oklahoma State will be the opponent if it handles business against BYU. Otherwise, Oklahoma and Texas will play once again. The Sooners handed Texas their lone defeat. They run Cameron Valdez. Valdez, first down. There's one second left, though. There's technically one second. Are they going to let it off? They let it go. And that's it. Texas is off to the Big 12 championship game. Blowing out Texas Tech on Black Friday, 57 to 7. And they're one win away from their first conference title in 14 years. And still in the mix for their first national title since 2005. It's what you were hired to do. Put this football team in this position. How'd you get here? Well, we got a great group of kids. And, you know, it starts with these guys who are three-year players that have been in our program that, that had to endure five and seven in year one. And eight and five last year. And they believed, you know. And then they did a good job as we brought in some new classes and some really talented kids. They believed what, what those guys were doing and everybody bought into what we were doing. And this, this team is just, you know, quite frankly, they're full of love. They play for one another, and that's the coolest thing. Senior night tonight, there was a lot of guys that you inherited that have been contributors here that didn't buck the system, that bought in. What do you have to say about those outgoing seniors? Well, they're the reason we're here. You know, I think about a guy like Jet Bush. For him to get that play, he, you know, he showed up here as a walk-on for a different coach, stuck with me and what we were doing. And there's a bunch of those types of guys. So, uh, in the end, I, I just couldn't be more proud and happy for that group of guys because without them, we would not be here. Congrats, man. Go enjoy it. Thanks, Tom. Right, buddy. That's Sark, sir. Certainly deserves to be in the coach of the year conversation for the job he's done. This is a great Texas team. Can't wait to see what they do next week in the Big 12 championship game.